A little bit, yes, it nice and smoothly. Nine feet. We're in nine foot of water now. Awesome. So now you can lift your engine a bit with the tilt button. That's it, that's enough, yeah. Okay, now cut the power a little bit more, slow it down a bit more. That's it, lovely. Now you're going to make a turn and we're going to go over there. Okay, port bow side, so this side. 11 o'clock on a clock. And this water, it was the de depth now? Five feet deep, okay. So what we're going to do now is going to go another 20 feet in front. And then what I'm going to do is um, Paul's going to take the camera. Okay, Paul, so now you can cut the power into neutral. Wait for it to click, perfect. Now you hold the camera and film me taking out the anchor. Okay, the Danforth anchor is, is located in here. We've got a nice little bow roller here to allow the chain to go down. All right. And we've got our rope. Okay, now allow at least in these waters, the depth is about it's about five foot, like Paul just said. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it to the starboard cleat. All right, you gotta always go round twice like that. It gives you a better grip. Figure of eight. Okay. Right now, Paul is going to go back to the helm, and then he's going to slowly put it in reverse until the rope tightens. The reason I've put it on the starboard and not on the port side, uh, incidentally, is because the boats will always go side on to the wind. So, that's it, a little bit more. You turn the engine that way, that's it. Yeah, you've got it, starboard way. That's it, nice and gently. And then just do little bursts of reverse, little bursts. And then I'll film, see, there's the anchor, you see the anchor rope? Now that's, now then just do it one more little burst of, of reverse. And you'll see this line. There's the anchor, look, you see? A little bit more reverse. Right, now neutral. And you see how tight that is, you see? Now that's enough there for this water is very calm now compared to what we've just come through. So that's that's fine. That look that's anchored in, that's a Danforth for you. They really are fantastic anchors for this size of boat, uh, for snorkeling and fishing and things. And there's a chain there. Now it's important to have the chain. The reason to have the chain on there is because it drags, it keeps the weight uh, on the anchor on the seabed. And as you put it in reverse, it's dragging the chain. And because obviously it's because of its weight, it's keeping the Danforth anchor downwards in a downward position and therefore digging in. So now if, if, if any high winds picked up, if any high winds picked up right now, then the anchor will only go deeper. It will never come out, it'll always be deeper. So uh, there we are, we're in neutral, are we, Paul? Yeah, okay, cut the engine, mate, the power. There we are. So, we're now uh, nicely anchored up, okay, the boat's not going anywhere. Paul put it in reverse just to give some more extra tension on the rope and on the anchor. That's the anchor's well dug in now, so because the boat's not going to go anywhere. So he's turned the power off, of, obviously, he's turned the engine off. But what was also important, in salt water especially, is we lift the engine up, okay? Two reasons for that. Number one, it prolongs the life of the um, engine itself and the, the propeller because it's not good. Because we could be here, if we were fishing, we could be here five hours. So you don't want your propeller uh, in the water and your engine in the water for five hours, even if it's for an hour. So getting the habit of lifting your engine up. The second good reason for this, you've got the tourists there. Now they can't tell whether that propeller's running or not. So for all they know, it could be actually spinning. And so when they can actually physically see the propeller out of the water, like that, then everybody's happy and safe. Yes. Okay, Paul, what do you think to your first time out in your boat? What have you learned so far? 
So these are for people also in the same position? I think it's just take it nice and steady, and it's the most enjoyable experience you will ever have. I love it. Guys and girls, what are you doing now? This is what boating's all about, guys. This is what boating's all about. Having bloody fun. Hey, it ain't freezing, it's beautiful. Oh. The fun of boating guys, the fun of boating. Right, what we're going to do now, Paul is going to experience pulling up the anchor. And uh, I hope you got feeling, uh, did you have your breakfast this morning, Paul? No. No. <laughs> right. So now what we're going to do to, uh, to retrieve the anchor, all right, to retrieve the anchor, let me take this silly hat off. To retrieve the anchor, First of all, we need to put the engine on and down. So we're going to tilt the engine down. Okay. Because it's not going to go very far out of the water. Okay, now I'm going to steer and make sure that the, before we set off, that the boat is facing the right direction that we want to go to. Okay. Now, then I'm going to make sure that it's in neutral. The point I was making before, if you're, in fact I'll do this, um, this there, you see that pulley there? Now that enables me to shift the gear into forward position or reverse position by pulling that towards me. Now if this arm was up there, and I want to go into neutral, then I use the palm of my hand like that. I don't do that to, get to go down. I don't do that to go down. I do that. And I'll explain, I'll show you why in a minute. That saves you having to go to reverse. All right. And it's always great as well if you can get yourself a, a depth finder. This is at 5.4 feet deep. The temperature of the water is 25.2 degrees. All right. And that's the seabed as it's reading and flowing underneath the uh, detector under the boat. All right, so there we are. Great bit of tea, actually. Right, so it's in neutral. Yep, that's great. So now the engine is in the water. So I'm not going to start the engine with the propeller out of the water. So everything's great and set. I'm going to turn the engine. There we are. Make sure that the water's coming out of the, the engine. So that's good news. All right. Now, Paul is on the uh, on the bow, wait, ready to uh, retrieve the anchor. So I'm going to slowly, very steadily, move forward. All right, right. There we are. As the anchor rope becomes slack, then Paul can then start pulling the rope in. All right. Okay, mate, it's in neutral. Now, Paul is retrieving the anchor on the anchor roller bar. And that's pretty much it. How simple is that? Awesome. So, just to recap, we now left the cove and we're heading out to a head sea. We've lifted the bow slightly to get over the bow wave. The bow wave, we shall hear a term quite a lot, is the wave that's just hitting the bow. So what we've done is lifted the engine up to tilt the bow up, okay? To get over what we call the bow wave. Otherwise the bow wave will be splashing all over the place. There we are. There's your following sea. And there's some uh, um, there's some Venetian fortifications along there. I don't know whether you can, the camera's picking it up or not. But this is the other side of the island I was telling you about. Okay, so three before now. Three before stroke on a four. 
You can see some of the size of the waves in a small boat. Sometimes the waves are bigger than the boat. Look at this puppy coming along. There it goes. See that? That's the following wave there. That direction. Okay, Paul, we're going to take a slight turn now to port side. Yep, where you go. Because we're going to head in that direction back to port. Yep. Now we're on a side on. There you are, you can see the waves. We're on a side on where the, the waves are now going to be hitting the side of the boat. But we're okay, we're only doing a nice three or four knots, that's all. Nice and steady eddy. There we are. The waves are pushing the boat around, but we're in control, that's the main thing. But you can see the size of some of these waves going in towards the beach. There's the wall I was telling you about. That's the wall. Open the engine down. Engine down, mate. Yes, sorry, buddy. Yes. All the way down now to get a grip of the uh, the water. That's it. All's good. The Greeks won't go out in these sea conditions. You won't see any other Greek boats out at all. So, it, as I say, we're only out for demonstration purposes, really. So, hope you're learning from all this, guys. I can say, it's okay, but you've got control of the boat, which we have, so we're cool. But you notice the boat's rocking now. See? See how it rocks from side to side? That's because of a side on wave. But we're okay. If you're new to boating, you're going to love this. Look at them rollers, guys. Look at them. How awesome are they? The power of those waves. We're on a side on wave as well. Absolutely awesome. Just watching them go. The harbour is over there. Look at those rollers, guys. Look at them. In a short while we'll be going on to a head sea, straight into port. The waves will bring us straight in, probably faster than we came out. <laughs> look at that roller lot, look at that. Whoosh. Look at that. Awesome. Okay guys, what we're going to do now, we're going to turn uh, onto a following wave in a minute. Uh, you can see the rollers, and the following wave is going to bring us right into the harbour. Like I said, probably faster than what we came out. <laughs> so, uh, okay, are you right, Paul? Yeah, fine. Okay, mate. Right, now we've got to choose a, tur a time to turn now. Spare me for a minute. Yep. Yep, there we are. Now, we're on, now it's going to drag us back now because we've not got the power at the minute. Right, now you, your engine's all the way down, getting the best grip. And you can increase the, the, uh, the power now, Paul. But stay on a straight on, the, on a following sea. There we are. You see the wave coming up behind him? Now it's dragging him back a bit. Now it's going to push us right forward. There we are. We're surfing now, you see. Look at that. 
Now it's going to drag us back, which is what it's doing. Now it's going to push us forward. All right, nothing to be frightened of. So do nature, the force of nature, which is unbelievable. Now we're surfing. That's why you don't stand up. Because the, the boat will dig you right in. Yeah, a little bit more power now, Paul. That'll do you. There we are. Now we're right on the crest of a wave now. Now it's dragging us back. Now it's pushing us forward. See the volume of water? See that? Now it's dragging us back. And now it's going to push us forward again with this one. See? We're surfing on the crest of a wave. Look at that. So you see, what's important is not to go too fast in these conditions because the force of the water will actually double the amount of speed that you've, you're doing. So if you were going flat out, you can double that and you totally lose control of the boat. Look at that now. Fantastic. It's okay. We're okay, we're okay yeah. No, you don't need to. Okay. Look at that. Awesome. You see? This is from the bow view. There we are. Yeah, lift the engine just a couple of notches on the switch, that's it. That's the reason we've lifted the engine a bit is just to bring this up onto the bow wave so we don't go crashing into the following wave. Now it's dragging us back. Now it's pushing us forward. See how close I am? Look, see? Yeah, that's it. That's what you want to experience. Right, cut your power a little bit. That's it. Yeah, see? That's it. That's all right. There we are. There we are. You see the, see the size of the wave there? It's bigger than the boat. This is why it's important to be in control of the boat at a reasonable speed and safety. Nice and steady. See? And this is a following wave. As I say, if you if you want to subscribe, you know there's lots more seafaring adventures. If you want to check them out, I've got a uh, at the moment I've got a uh, 112 videos on on YouTube right now on my channel. Um, some related to guitars, some related to adventures at sea, some fishing videos, all sorts of bits and bobs. So uh, there you go. This is the uh, the port of Calivas. The town of Cleavers, I should say, and the port is over there where those rocks are. That's the harbour wall. Now, one thing, guys. One thing, guys. Look at that, look. <laughs> now it's dragging us back. Now it's pushing us forward. See? Look at that. Dragging us back. Pushing us forward. Now, we wouldn't go in that direction because the wave will go like that and tip the boat, potentially. So we're going to do a side on into the harbour, which will be fun, but Paul's got to learn and this is how you learn. And we're safe, we're not going fast, nice and safe, so we're good. You can see the, uh, the sea behind Paul. There we are. Now I've just asked Paul to cut the power before we make a turn and do a side on wave into the harbour over that direction, okay? So, okay Paul, we're going to make a turn in a minute. Port side. Not yet. Hold it steady. Right, now you can turn now. Right, it's nice and steady. There we are. Right, now straight towards the arbor. That's 
that's why we cut the power. Look at these rollers, look, you see? And then we're going to go down. There we are. Now, to get in towards the harbour mouth, it wouldn't be any good going straight like that. The reason being is that by the time you get to the harbour mouth, we're likely to be pushed by these waves into the harbour wall. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to instruct Paul to do in a minute, is to go to the right of the harbour mouth and then take a head sea into the harbour. That way you've got more control and you're not going to be pushed to the side. That way you've got more control. Right, come this way a bit because there's some boys here. So right, there's some boys around here that uh, uh, signals for the swimmers on the beaches not to come out as far as these boys, they're, they're markers basically. That's good, yeah. Here's the beach of Calivas. You'll notice that there's no for this roller coming in here, look, look at that. Oh yes. <laughs> it's a fantastic experience. And I really hope that you guys enjoy these videos. Um, because it is great fun making them and uh, we're really, I really do appreciate your, your comments and that so you know don't forget to place a like and I hope this is, video has been of great help to you um, and overcome some of the things that you will experience in your own boats um, wherever you are in this beautiful world of ours okay right you see the flag flying now you probably can't see the port flag flying it's flying very stiffly to the starboard side. That means it's a north wind. It's coming from the north, which is Athens. We're about 550 miles south of the mainland, Athens. Right, Paul, what you're going to do now, you're going to head towards the flag. Right. Yeah? So you're to the right of the harbour mouth. And then you're going to cut port side almost on a head sea into the harbour. So where that lady's standing, uh, there's got red hair by the looks of it. She got red hair. She got red hair. Oh, she's got a hat on. Red hat. Aim, aim for her. And then cut into the harbour on a on a on a head sea. So you're going to go that way, and then that up. And I'll explain to Paul why we've done that. Yeah, speed's fine. Pick your hooter. See the swimmers there. Look. It, they've seen us now that's why it's always great to have a hooter as well or a horn as you guys say okay now that direction yeah just a bit see how it's pushing us to the right a bit of, little bit of power Paul little bit of power that's it, you've got to fight the waves. Bit of power, that's right. Yep. This way a bit. Okay. Yeah, so. Coquino, put it there, yeah. Well done, Paul. Okay, there we are. We're home safe. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. This is the end of the video. Uh, will be when we've docked. Now we're going to manoeuvre into this spot. Now.
where that yellow boy is. It's all right, mate. You're okay. We're home safe now, so. That's a nice ball, well done, lovely. Do little bursts on the engine now. That's enough. It's nice and slow now. Looking good, looking good. It's looking good, guys. We're okay, we're okay. Right now this round this way a bit. That's it. Guys, we're in. I attached the bow line uh, as we docked. So that's all nicely attached now, look. And uh, Paul is now just uh, attaching the stern lines. And everything's good. We've lifted the engine up, engine off. And then what he'll do, he'll open the compartment. and close the air valve on the petrol tank and then it's time for a wash down and give the boat a good wash down and get rid of all the sea salt so it prolongs the life of everything and then uh, vacate and go and have a beer yes sir hi okay. oh, guys I just want to show you something about sea salt okay this look at that that is sea salt and that's why you need to get rid of it and that's why you need to wash your boat down because of all this sea salt i don't know if you can see that look see all the sea salt there and that will be all over the boat and dry out and corrode all your stainless steel any components around your engine everything all right, and that's just on one of the lines, the bow line. So, there you go, the top tip. Okay, what he's going to do now, um, Paul's going to wash the boat down. Okay, get rid of all that sea salt that you just saw. Once I turn the tap on. Yeah. Do you do your propeller as well, Paul? Give it an inside. That's it. Yeah. Give it a good old rinse. Surprising, actually. Even just a blast of water like this really makes a difference when you come back to your boat and it's all dried off. Uh, you've got a nice clean boat for the next adventure. And this is Cleaver's Harbour. Nice. Beautiful down here. Only 20 euros a year to moor the boat. How cool is that? As I say, this gets rid of all the sea salt. Really washes it down. You see how clean this screen just came then. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Sorry if it's not. That's it, people. You don't want a beer, do you? <laughs> so there you have it, start to finish. Enjoy your boating and thanks for checking it out. And don't forget to subscribe, like or even comment. It's always great to hear from you. Take care and rock and roll.